Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing one of the most interesting aspects of Ninjago Dragons Rising that actually received a lot of criticism from Ninjago viewers. Now, the scene in question comes from Ninjago Dragons Rising Episode 9, otherwise known as the Calm Inside, and it's the flashback sequence featuring a younger Lloyd training with Master Wu. A lot of Ninjago fans really did not like this scene, and even myself, I have some issues with this scene as well. My goal for today's video is to go ahead and talk about this scene, discuss what I personally do not like about it, and how this scene could have been better in my opinion. Now don't get me wrong, I do not wish to fix this scene, I'm not trying to fix this scene, I just want to provide maybe an alternate look as to what this scene could have been, and like I said, discuss what might have worked better for this scene, this is not objectively what would have worked better. So obviously enough, there is one major thing about this scene that a lot of Ninjago fans did not really care for, that of course being the design of Lloyd himself, who appears to be taking after the Ninjago legacy version of Lloyd. To me, it makes sense why they would go for the legacy Lloyd design, that is the current Lloyd that is available on the market right now, and it makes more sense when you compare this younger Lloyd with the modern day Lloyd. There's just more of a resemblance there, so I can totally see why they went with this design. Also, the voice acting, it's Sam Vincent doing the voice acting for younger Lloyd, not Jillian Michaels, who voiced him back during the first couple of seasons. Also, Lloyd is in his Ninjago legacy suit, yada yada yada. Honestly, these things don't bother me too much about this scene. I mean, sure, they're kind of annoying and pretty jarring to say the least, but what really didn't work about this scene for me was the message, and in fact, the message of the entire episode kind of fell on its face for me. Now, the message of trying to remain calm during a stressful situation, that is certainly fine and dandy, but it doesn't really work for Lloyd, and outside of this one specific episode, we really don't see that for Ninjago Dragons Rising. Instead, I think what would have been beneficial is if this scene took a lesson that we saw Lloyd learn earlier in Ninjago's first couple of seasons and adapted it for Ninjago Dragons Rising. And with that being said, there is indeed a character arc for Lloyd in Dragons Rising that they could have taken advantage of. That of course being Lloyd's insecurity revolving his teaching skills and whether or not he can live up to Master Wu. To me, that would have made a lot more sense considering what we knew about Lloyd prior in Ninjago Dragons Rising. He's trying to be a teacher to both Eren and Sora and he's having difficulties trying to fulfill that Master Wu role. So why not have Master Wu's lesson in the flashback sequence be one that could apply to this arc for Lloyd, while also being a lesson that we as Ninjago fans recognize from those earlier seasons? In my opinion, the best way to defeat your enemy is to make them your friend lesson would have worked just fine in this scenario. You could still have the entire sequence towards the end of episode 9 where Lloyd just gets lost in the chaos, but he gets lost in the chaos because he's feeling insecure about his teaching skills. Eren is asking for advice over the comms, he's not really sure how to respond to Eren, he could still have have the vision of Master Wu, but the best way to defeat your enemy is to make them your friend lesson would have worked in Lloyd's favor here. Lloyd could have embraced that insecurity, acknowledge his insecurity, and realize that he is on the right path to becoming a teacher, but he can't rush it. He's not there just yet. It takes time for him to develop and those skills to develop, and one day he will become a great sensei. But as of right now, he is simply the green ninja, and he could talk to Eren from that perspective. Lloyd could have talked to Eren like a fellow ninja, be on that same playing field, and present himself as Eren. Aaron's equal not his teacher. And I feel like that would have made for a better payoff, because as it is right now in episode 9, this lesson is presented to us for the first time and is done away with towards the very end of the episode. It just seemed like a random lesson of the day type of thing, and not something that would make sense for Ninjago Dragons Rising. And also, Ninjago fans could have appreciated a callback to an earlier Ninjago lesson that Master Wu taught Lloyd way back in season 1. Again, not saying this alternate version is better, not saying that I fixed this episode, I just wanted to give my alternate take as to what this episode could have been, because like I said, the lesson really did not feel like anything too special, and it really didn't feel like it had that big of a payoff. So I hope I was able to present my thoughts in today's video, and I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. Leave all your thoughts down below in the comments. What do you think about this episode, and do you have a problem with this flashback sequence? Why or why not? Leave all your thoughts down below, and hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.